Do you remember the first time you saw Evil Dead? I mean, Evil Dead for me was like taking yeah. the most terrifying parts in The Exorcist and just jacking it up and multiplying it with six characters right from the opening scene. Yeah. I saw that at the right age. Do you remember when you first saw Evil Dead? Yeah, I saw, I'm sure I saw it the day it was released. I'm sure I saw it that Friday. Because I was waiting for it because I read the Fangoria cover that had Ash with the, with the chainsaw with the chainsaw on it. And Stephen King, I have just seen the, the scariest movie of this decade or whatever. Because it had played at Mefed or something. That was the news about it. There would be, you know, movies like The Dorm, The Drip Blood or something would get coverage in Fangoria. But they wouldn't go apeshit over it. You know, this they went apeshit over. I think I'd read an interview with uh, Raimi and, and Tappert before I even saw the movie. So I saw it the day it opened. That was, that was like what made me want. And that, as a kid, was like, the fact that he was 21 and did it in the woods, I was like, you don't have to be from Hollywood to make a movie? Oh, yeah. That was the first time I conceptualized that. And, like, that was great. And the Coen brothers with Blood Simple was great. But then, even though there was crime wave in between, then they follow it up with Racing Arizona and Evil Dead 2, which, in my generation of young guys, those were the two best movies made in our lifetime. I know. That was for me, Evil Dead 2, yeah. for sure. Evil Dead 2 and Racing Arizona and the crazy way they shot it with all the, the camera doing all this stuff that we had never seen before. With Three Stooges humor thrown into the most violent horror movie you'd ever seen. It was like taking the violence of the Three Stooges seriously. Yeah, yeah. And both Racing Arizona and Evil Dead 2 just keep trying to top each other with their weird camera shots and whatever. If you're a movie-mad young guy in your early 20s, and you see Raising Arizona, and you see Evil Dead 2, and you see that, that shooting style, it's like, well, what's the point of ever shooting any movie not like that? I know. All right? That seemed like, okay, a new shooting style has been developed, and everything else looks old-fashioned by comparison. Well, that, like... Every single thing just seems old-fashioned and dated unless you're doing that. Where all the older critics are, okay, well, what's going to happen the day they make a real movie? Right. Uh -huh. But as a kid, when I first saw the first shot of Evil Dead, when the camera starts moving, there's the first thing of, how are they doing this? But I was yeah. also like, oh, this is what a demonic spirit point of view shot. Like, we'd seen the shark POV. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. But never the demonic spirit point of view going through the cabin and that, yeah, oh, boom, oh. and the doors fly off and everything. Yeah. It's the scariest thing I'd ever seen. Yeah. And then you play the tape, and it's just in the fucking, the bile and the gore. And, uh -huh. what, and even that it, it sort of had that basket case, 16-millimeter yeah, 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 yeah. stop-motion yeah, animation know, quality. Yeah, uh -huh. I fucking loved it. There was also something else about Evil Dead that made it also kind of particularly cool was, well, you had to get it. Not everyone could get it. It was cheap. You had to be able to not just look beyond that. You had to embrace that. And also, it is scary, but there is a really weird sense of humor that if you're not in line with it, you're going to think, oh, that's just a piece of junk. And so you had to get Evil Dead 2. And if you were smart enough to get it, then, oh, it's the greatest thing ever. You're not going to show it to your aunt or your mom and have them accept it, or even some girl you know, have them accept it. When we watch Evil Dead 2 and we see the little model car going on the bridge, we think that's the height of creativity. It's brilliant. Somebody else is like, that's a cheap model car. What the fuck?